first, let's check in with Jen. All right, Isabel, from the bank job to milk, all the way to Sex in the City 2, SF Movie Bears celebrate Cinema Paradiso, and we will too, coming up. Need a There it is. It's Sex and the City 2. And what could be more fun than seeing it with a whole bunch of terrific guys, gay men and women? Is that what this series is made for? Other people, too, but definitely gay men and women. Okay, well, Dave Hayes and Drew Galaney are here from SF Movie Bearers. And I don't mean to, to marginalize you guys, because what you do is SF Movie Bearers are all about the fun of seeing movies together. Am I right, Dave? That's absolutely right. The, the movie experience is so different when you see it with a, gr a group of guys and gals we have gals come too uh -huh. that uh, that that want that are there to see that film and enjoy it and, and right. when you have so many people laughing all at the same lines right. and getting it it just makes it much more of a fun experience that's what it really, is really it's visceral it. yeah. and fun and shared humanity mm -hmm. when you see a movie with an audience okay. and tell what happened tell what happened Drew when uh, sex in the city one when you first showed that for SF movie uh, movie bears well I there was about 300 of us in the audience and in the moment in the movie when Carrie gets her new shoe closet and it's huge there was 300 of the people people in the audience all of them saw the closet and went <gasps> At the, same, at the same, same time, and then everyone started laughing right afterwards just because of the sound of 300 people gasping. It Isn't was just that a great? Magical moment. Yes, and well, it just shows you that's what's so much fun, seeing yeah. it all together. Now, really explain, because we know uh, our friend Harry Litt and, and the Bears of San Francisco and all the great work they do and the fun they have uh, at the, uh, up in the Russian River and everything else. So the, yes, uh, we know that the Bears are in San Francisco, but what are the movie Bears particularly? Well, we're just a, a, a social group of people who get together, and we go every week sometimes twice a week we go see live shows we just go to get together to, to enjoy an out-of-bar experience mm -hmm. and we like it when people bring their friends we've had people bring their kids to Harry Potter uh -huh. you guys a lot bring their moms whenever they're visiting town which is really cute oh yeah, yeah. and then yes. they can meet their friends and then exactly. see a movie mm -hmm. together and you know it's a really f uh, fun environment where you know we encourage no cell phones we encourage no screaming babies you know we we want it to be the movie experience that you got 20 years ago when there were no cell phones right, right. and so we we just we invite anybody to come along who's gay friendly because we are a gay group mm -hmm. and if you're gay or gay friendly we mm -hmm. want you to come we sure. want you to enjoy the experience and seeing milk up today is Harvey milk day exactly. uh, and we commemorate that in San Francisco for this brilliant yeah. man who would have been 80 today but lives yeah. forever through the work that he did and uh, you saw milk together as a group isn't that right Drew? yeah we saw it at the Castro theater I think right. the day before opening it was mm -hmm. our biggest show ever yeah. we had 720 people mm -hmm. and our group went into the Castro Theater before the rest of the crowd and yeah. it was just a great night. So and sometimes it's movies like that that resonate so strongly but sometimes it's also just fun sci-fi, musicals. The yeah. big stupid comedies. Yeah. You, know, <laughs> you know, you see a trailer for a comedy and everybody laughs, you know that's going to be a big one. Oh, you know, let's so. tell people how they could be part of Sex and the City 2, folks. I'm going to be there introducing it, finding out which of those four girls you relate to the most. <laughs> we'll find out who in the audience relates. May 26th at 7 o'clock at the Century Theater in San Francisco. They have a terrific website, www.sfmoviebears.com. Dave Hayes, Drew Galaney, I'm so glad you were th you're here. I'm glad you're keeping it alive, the idea of seeing a movie together, shared humanity, laughing together, <laughs> crying together, gasping together. Yes. Fabulous. <laughs> Thank you so much. And here's some movies I recommend right now. Letters to Juliet, if you just want to have a great trip to Italy and don't want to get on a plane. Beautiful cinematography and the great the fabulous Vanessa Redgrave. I mean, can that woman, everything she says sounds less sappy than should be. Uh, anyway, Casino Jack in the United States of Money about Jack Abramoff. It'll make you look at uh, lobbyists. Well, it'll make you crazy, but it's worth seeing. Oceans, uh, to remind us of how wrong the oil spill is right now in Louisiana and how we have to pray for those folks and those animals. The Joneses, worth seeing, worth your time and money. What else is out there? Princess Kailani, such a good film about the Princess of Hawaii and what she did to try to help that nation. Uh, City Island, it's complicated on DVD. And the last station about the Tolstoys, Mr. and Mrs. Tolstoy <laughs> at home. It's a lovely thing. So anyway, that's a lot of fun. And coming up, I'll be reviewing three new movies that came out this week, including Shrek the Third. So we'll talk about that.
that in the next hour as we also celebrate in the heights on stage at the current uh, but thanks again you guys sfmoviebearers.com see you at sex in the city too isabel thank you jan